And some breaking news in Seattle tonight. A school shooting at a high school leaves one student dead. You're watching a special edition of 4 News Now. Thanks for joining us on this election day. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. 4 News Now is your go-to source for election information and race results tonight. But first, it's a cold day here in the inland northwest. Here's a live look over a sunny downtown Spokane. We'll send it right over to meteorologist Matt Gray. He's in for Chris tonight. He has your first alert forecast. And the sunshine really helped things feel pretty nice, at least for the afternoon. Melted some snow. Always nice to see, especially after all the craziness from yesterday. Sun going down now, and so we'll end up with a very cold night tonight. After all, these temperatures here, 32 in Spokane and 30 in Coeur d'Alene, that's our average low at this point in the year. So this is quite, quite unusual to have some of this Arctic air that's pushed across the mountains from the northern plains. Right now, 28 already in Bonners Ferry, tropical and in the four, upper 40s in Lewiston and pretty chilly in Omak as well, 24 degrees. We also have a little bit of wind coming out of the north, 10 miles an hour in Spokane and even blusterier in Coeur d'Alene and in Sandpoint. And so wind chill, yeah, that's going to be a factor tonight. In fact, outside it feels already in Coeur d'Alene like the teens. We're going to be feeling like single digits as we get into the early hours of tomorrow morning. So here's your wind chill in the pink, your temperatures for the next 12 hours in the white color colors. So it's going to be a chilly, chilly night, and it doesn't look like we're going to be warming up for a while. That's coming up in your extended forecast. Uh, thank you, and you're going to want to make sure you're receiving updates from our team of meteorologists on these freezing temperatures and other weather alerts by downloading the 4 News Now weather app and turning on push notifications. Weather alerts are sent straight to your phone wherever you may be. Just search KXLY in the App Store. We are following some breaking news from Seattle tonight. A student is dead after a shooting at Ingram High School in North Seattle, and a person is in custody in connection with the shooting. Just before 10 o'clock this morning, Seattle police say they got reports of a shooting at this high school. Officers say they immediately entered the school and found one person with life-threatening gunshot wounds. The school was secured. Students were released to their families. And Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell broke the news that the student shot later died at the hospital today. Now, students can't learn or develop or grow to be the best versions of themselves when they have to fear for their life. Our schools have to be a, the highest safe havens for our youth. And tomorrow's classes are now canceled. There's no word on a motive for this shooting. A crash on Highway 395 killed one person and hurt two others. Here are the pictures from that crash. This is about nine miles south of Chihuahua near Jump Off Road. 395 was closed in both directions for several hours. It reopened around 3 this afternoon. In our For the People coverage on Election Day, the Spokane Elections Office has been very busy since it opened its doors at 7 o'clock this morning. If you still need to get to the Elections Office or the drop boxes today, the earlier you can do so, the better. As of last night, 151,000 ballots were in. 15,000 more came through this morning. All in all, they're expecting 240,000 ballots. Emily Bloom is there to show us what is happening right now. Emily. Yeah, Aaron, Kirsten, if you take a look behind me, you can see quite a few people coming and going in the elections office. I can tell you in just the past hour or so, I have seen a dramatic increase in the amount of people trying to get into this parking lot as people are getting off of work. They do expect this to be the busiest time of the day. And if you're heading to a drop box, you could see lines there as well. If you're using a drop box, be sure, you know, it's well before 8 o'clock. They're hearing of long lines at the drop boxes. Yes, if you're in line at 8 o'clock, you will be allowed to vote. If you're planning to vote at the elections office, give yourself some extra time. We have construction going on on Monroe and Gardner. There's two major pro projects going on, so, you know, access is tight. And the center place is also available on the Spokane Valley. As of last night, 151,000 ballots were in. This morning, 15,000 more. They're expecting 240,000 ballots total. And 1% is the signatures are being challenged or they forget to sign. Letters are going out to those people and they have until November 28th to return those letters. For those of you questioning the district races on the ballots, they changed the redistricting commission this year. So there's now five county commissioner districts that will take effect on 
at the first of the year. They're currently, you're still represented by three county commissioner districts. The same is for the ledge districts. They redrew the district lines and most of the unincorporated areas south of Liberty Lake, Spokane Valley, and the city of Spokane used to be in a different district. They are now in the ninth district. You'll be voting on who will represent you in the future. And a reminder here is that the South Hill Library and the Indian Trail Library, both of those are closed for construction. You cannot vote at these two locations. Reporting live in the elections office, I'm Emily Bloom for 4 News Now. Emily, thank you. In our For the People election coverage tonight, the 4 News Now team will be diving into the key races this midterm. Yeah, the first of those races is the Washington battle for U.S. Senate between 30-year incumbent Patty Murray and political newcomer Tiffany Smiley. This is a nation nationwide race to watch, the balance of the U.S. Senate is currently 50-50. A change of just one seat will shift the balance of parties. Plus, Spokane County will have its first new sheriff in 16 years to replace Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich. John Knowles is the current undersheriff, and Wade Nelson is a retired detective with the sheriff's office. A battling for a seat in Congress in Washington's 5th District, Natasha Hill is looking to unseat Kathy McMorris-Rogers, who is seeking her 10th term. And in Idaho, five candidates are on the ballot for governor. A big matchup is expected between incumbent Brad Little and challenger Stephen Height. These are just a handful of all the races we're covering across the inland northwest. To find all of our election coverage, local and statewide, head to KXLY.com. Coming up on 4 News Now, nearly 1 million Idaho voters have registered for this year's midterm election. We'll go live at a polling center in Kootenai County with what they can expect this midterm. Plus a deep dive in a race being watched nationally. The close battle for U.S. Senate in Washington coming up after the break on 4 News Now. 4 News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. There are many different ways that Numerica gives back. Financial education is my way of giving back to the community by being able to help members in branch and getting the opportunity to go out into schools and teach kids about how to put themselves in a better position financially. MeTV presents the rarely seen MASH finale. It was pretty big. It was about half the country watching at one time. With exclusive interviews with the cast and creative team. MeTV remembers the MASH finale. November 11th, only on MeTV 4.2. Meet your local essential workers. What I like about the UFCW 3000 is for the benefits that make our lives better. They make sure that we have secured pension and retirement. And I can work uh, part-time and still maintain my health care coverage. I don't see myself going anywhere else because of UFCW 3000 benefits and wages. Thanks, UFCW 3000. Support local essential workers who live in and support our community. Go to UFCW3000.org to learn more. In 1992, we sent Patty Murray to the Senate to fight for us. But after nearly 30 years in D.C., she's changed. Murray has taken almost $2 million from lobbyists, and she voted for a massive tax cut for millionaires. Patty Murray's looking out for the millionaires and special interests, not us. It's time for a change. That's why I'm voting for Tiffany Smiley. She's a political outsider who will always put Washington families first. Evergreen Principles Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. <laughs> Let the countdown begin. Santa Claus is back for River Park Square's holiday kickoff Friday, November 18th at 6 p.m. Presented by STCU. The family fun continues Saturday afternoon at the Merry and Magical Holiday Parade with a special appearance by jolly old St. Nick. Reserve a time for photos and discover all you need to plan an unforgettable season at riverparksquare.com. Next five, Sylvester Stallone and Judd Hirsch. Plus, our virtual road trip continues. Oh, Ohio. Oh, hello, Ohio. Watch live tomorrow at 9, right after GMA. 
New video from Maricopa County, Arizona. That's a key battleground state in tonight's election. Elections officials there say 20% of the tabulation machines were not accepting completed ballots. They say techs are fixing the problem by changing a printer setting. Elections officials say all votes will be counted despite the glitch, although election deniers are criticizing the malfunction. We turn our attention now to a race with a national audience, the race for the U.S. Senate in Washington. Republicans need to flip just one seat to take control of the Senate. A variety of polls show Republican challenger Tiffany Smiley has clawed to just within striking distance over the past several months. KXLY's Jordan Smith has been following this race. He joins us in studio with the latest on this election and how close this race has become. Well, Aaron, this race is like is like any other Senate race we've seen in the last 12 years. Many people expected to see 30 year Senator Patty Murray pull away like she has so often in her reelection campaigns. But Tiffany Smiley has worked hard to make her name and position known and made this race closer than many people expected. For reference, take a look at data from 538 that averaged out six different polls for a rough estimate of where each candidate stands. This first data was captured on August 16th. Murray was projected to have held a double digit lead. But fast forward to today, and Smiley has fought her way to within four points of Senator Murray. Now again, these polls aren't concrete, but it is a good indication as to where things stand. Earlier today, we caught up with Tiffany Smiley about how close this race has become. Here's what she had. Here we are on election day, and, and you've clawed within single points. Are, are you surprised at how tight this race has become in a historically blue state? From the beginning of this race, we have been so successful because I've been focused on the endorsement of the voters of Washington State. So I'm not surprised. I've seen the enthusiasm on the ground. Um, the voters of Washington State know that we do not need seniority. We need motivation and principle, and that's exactly what they will get when they send me to Washington, D.C. And we reached out to the Murray campaign to hear from her on this race, but we did not hear back today. Just a few weeks ago, we did catch up with Senator Murray on why she feels this is a critical election and what voters need to know when submitting their ballots. What do voters need to know ahead of this election day? I think what's important is that this really is a critical election. We are at a crossroads in this country. Women's rights are on the line. Our democracy is on our line. Whether our economy is going to work for working families today, giving them the opportunities that they need, that is what I'm working on and want to continue to work on uh, for the people of our state. And both candidates have reached the end of the campaign trail. All that's left to do is to wait for these votes to be counted. They're both watching from Western Washington this evening. And the most critical part of this election, of course, is that voter turnout. What that will look like, as you've heard, they have until 8 p.m. to get those ballots in, and we'll be watching for updates as those votes are getting counted. Reporting in studio, I'm Jordan Smith for News Now. And we'll keep it an eye on the radar. And now there's some things going on. As you look to the south, we will show you what happens here and how long this chilly weather is going to last. That's coming up in your first alert forecast. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Did you know? That Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. We lost the game that day, but Kyle saved my life. During my parents' divorce, things got really bad for me. Kyle noticed, and he told our coach that he was worried about me. Everyone has a role in preventing suicide. Know the warning signs and rock your role. If someone you know is in crisis or emotional distress, call the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline at 208-398-HELP. 
Welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Well, hi. Hey, I'm looking for a new Honda, but I heard some dealers are charging outrageous prices. At Coeur d'Alene Honda, we're not doing that. With us, it's business as usual. That's a relief. And we include a lifetime warranty at no additional cost. We are a family-owned dealership, and our reputation is far more valuable than overcharging our customers. We want to be here for you today, tomorrow, and in the future. And don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Call today for our available inventory and check out our website at cdahonda.com. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think we should hire more people. Doc, I'm late for a meeting. I'm thinking of starting my own practice. Mm, do it. Too much capital. We need a warehouse. I can't imagine how we do that. We should knock that wall down and expand. Do it. There's always another wall beyond the wall. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank. Privately owned. Locally invested. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Time for your very chilly first alert forecast. Let's look at temperatures right now in the metro and starting to cool down here now from mid 30s into freezing. We just did that in the last hour at Spokane International. Meads down to freezing. Hayden down to 30 degrees. And we're getting pretty close to that in downtown Coeur d'Alene as well. It was nice to see some mid 30s in the valley today. Is uh, kind of clear up the roads a little bit and hopefully more treatment will ha have us. Driving easy for the rest of the week. Now for this election evening, Temperatures are going to sink very quickly now that the sun has set. Going to be down into the low and mid-20s as we head through those evening hours. And we expect to drop down into the teens in the early morning. 14 for Spokane, 16 in Coeur d'Alene, 13 in Bonners Ferry in Colville. Teens as well for OMAC. 20s as you work your way to the south, Ritzville, Pullman, and Lewiston. All getting into, or just down, into the 20s. Either way, it's going to feel pretty chilly. Here's a look at your lows in the metro. Going to be some warmer spots, but still, anywhere right around the mid-teens, that's what you should expect as you are getting up in the morning, especially for uh, for you early risers. Now, we mentioned the winds earlier, and there is going to be a wind chill component in here, so watch what happens, especially in the West Plains, Mead, Deer Park, Spirit Lake, and right around Lake Coeur d'Alene. We're going to see that single-digit wind chill, and that's going to start as early as 8 o'clock, just because of how fast we cool and how blustery, especially around the Rafter Prairie, it has been so far today. And look at that. It'll feel like 12 degrees in downtown Spokane at that time. Time. Let's go th a little bit further through the wee hours of the morning. Fast forward to about 6 a.m. and you can see Fairchild going to feel like 6 with the winds blustery across the West Plains. Spirit Lake and Deer Park in the single digits as well with a little bit of wind sheltering in Spokane and the Valley. And that will be useful there. By the time we get to about 8, 7, 38 o'clock, things will have uh, warmed up enough that it's not going to be as big of an issue. But definitely want to have that extra layer on if you are up early in the morning. It's going to feel pretty good again in the afternoon. 30s, sunshine, winds are going to calm down a little bit as well. So nice afternoon, but pretty frigid in the morning. Definitely going to feel like the middle of winter. It does already and it looks like it too. Here's your highs. 32 for Spokane, 34 for Coeur d'Alene. Tropical 40 degrees in Lewiston. But definitely a little bit cooler around the region than what we saw today. More cool air is going to be moving in tonight, especially on the backside of the storm system that is going to miss us, but it is going to bring snow potentially to parts of the Camas Prairies. Keep an eye on that if you are uh, watching from around Grangeville. Otherwise, the snow is Montana's problem as we head later into the week. High pressure takes over so we stay cool but we're not really going to see all that much in the way of precipitation gonna be keeping an eye on Friday night Saturday morning might see a flurry or two we'll keep you updated as we go through the rest of the week we do get warmer this weekend and early next week but not much still running about 10 15 degrees below where we would normally be in November so get used to these temperatures they're sticking around for a while Matt, thank you. In many races across the country, the 2020 election is still on the ballot. More than 200 Republicans on the ballot today have questioned or denied the legitimacy of the 2020 election, and many of them are expected to win. Of the 552 Republican candidates running for Congress or statewide office this year, 199 have fully denied the legitimacy of the 2020 election. Another 61 have raised doubts about the results, despite its certification in state after state. A few candidates who received Donald Trump's endorsement by repeating his lie about 2020 later backtracked after winning the Republican nomination, including New Hampshire Senate candidate Don Baldick.
and I want to be definitive on this. The election was not stolen. Most election deniers are sticking to their beliefs and vowing to change the way elections are run in their states. Still to come on 4 News Now, what's at stake nationally in this crucial midterm election? Plus, we'll have a live look of Election Day in Idaho right after the break on 4 News Now. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Once you've found that perfect piece at Pond 1, ask about our layaway plan. It's oh so simple and helpful. Pawn One Jewelry, exclusively at Pawn One. Your retirement is a bridge to the future, and the right Medicare plan ensures your future's healthy. Fortunately, Blue Cross of Idaho can set you on the right path. Your home is their home. Count on them to look after you. Find the right Medicare plan by requesting your free information kit. Call the number on screen now or scan the QR code. There's no obligation. Our affordable True Blue HMO Medicare Advantage plans give you $0 primary care visits, urgent care and labs, along with $0 generic drugs. And you'll value significant extras like dental, vision, hearing, fitness, and health coverage away from home. For over 75 years, Blue Cross of Idaho has been the right choice for Idahoans like you and me. It's the Idaho way. You have until December 7th to find the right plan. To get your free kit, call or visit their website today. The people ask us to bring peace to the city of Spokane. House Mainstream accepts. I know you. There's something awakening in my mind. You must face your fears. Come with me. You need to be ready. Hello, I'm Lloyd Herman. If you need legal assistance due to an accident or an injury, put my 40 years of experience of dealing with the insurance companies to work for you. You'll have an appointment to speak to me within 48 hours. Lloyd Herman & Associates, 922-6600. Take time to learn about the candidates and issues before voting, then mail your ballot for free as long as it's postmarked by election day. Or you can take it to a drop box or voting center before 8 p.m. on November 8th. For the drop box or voting center nearest you, visit votewa.gov. All new at Pond One. Bigger loans for your bigger stuff. Pond One, now with bigger loans for your bigger stuff. Four News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. As we continue our For the People coverage tonight, nearly one million people in Idaho have registered for this year's midterm election. Voters in Kootenai County have a lot to decide with their ballots tonight. We now turn to a local polling center in Kootenai County. Our Peter Choi is live tonight to see how things are going and what to expect this midterm. Yeah, guys, I'm here at the Post Falls Senior Center, which is the one of the polling locations in Kootenai County. And this particular one opened at 8 a.m. And since then, and as you can see, it's been pretty busy with many voters still casting their ballots. Now, the, so far, the, more than 1,000 people came to this particular locations, And that's why the elections officials say they are expecting higher voter turnout compared to the last midterm election in 2018. Now, pol polling places in Kootenai County might get more crowded this year, now, poll workers at this voting center are busy escorting voters. I would say this is comparable to a presidential election, maybe a little bit busier. Now, a lot of people have already voted at uh, early voting locations or filled out absentee ballots. Now, if you have request absentee ballots and you haven't returned them yet, elections officials say to make sure to bring them directly to the Kootenai County Elections Office in Coeur d'Alene. You cannot return it to the polling place because they are not equipped to handle any ballot not cast at their location. Now, polls close at 8 p.m. to now, so if you haven't voted yet, you still have the time to do so. Now, you can find your nearby polling locations on our website, kxly.com. Live in Kootenai County, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Peter, thank you. 
Polling sites across the country are open and millions of voters are casting their ballots in this consequential midterm election. At stake, control of Congress and most state houses with 36 governorships, all 435 House seats and 35 Senate seats up for grabs. ABC's Justin Finch has more on this high stakes election. Democrats and Republicans campaigning up until the 11th hour, calling in their heavy hitters. Vote! Get out the vote! You must vote Republican in a giant red wave. Both parties hoping to win congressional majorities with all 435 House seats and 35 in the Senate now in play. It could not be any tighter in Congress. Meaning control of either chamber could come down to a few races. Everyone that's willing to go out and go knock on doors and to get out the votes right now because there is just so much at stake right now. In Pennsylvania, Mehmet Oz and his Democratic opponent, John Fetterman, locked in a tight Senate race casting their ballots this morning and counting on their supporters to turn out. I'm very proud of how we run this campaign. We want less radicalism and more balance. The Georgia Senate race also quite tight. Both candidates taking parting shots before Election Day. You cannot trust Herschel Walker to tell the truth about the basic facts of his life. And I'm running because I'm sick and tired of people not loving this country. Senate hopeful J.D. Vance voting Tuesday after former President Trump rallied for him in Ohio. I think we're in a position where we'll win this race so long as people get out there and vote. His opponent, Congressman Tim Ryan, trusting the voters. Well, if you win, you win. If you lose, you concede and you move on. But I feel really good. Nationwide, record-breaking early voting with more than 44 million ballots already cast. Election officials now advising final results could take days as they process early and day of votes along with mail-in ballots. Justin Finch, ABC News, Capitol Hill. Control of the U.S. House is on the line today. The winning party will have the power to pick the House Speaker. Two people likely are vying for the role. Representative Kevin McCarthy of California is the minority leader now. Here's what the Republican says he would do in the top job. A vote tomorrow is a vote to defend our democracy. Incumbent House Speaker Nancy Pelosi gave this message to voters last night. First thing we're going to do is make sure an economy that's strong. I think the first thing you'll see is a, um, a bill to control the border first. The first thing I'll ask the president not to call half the nation idiots. For the first time, she has opened up about the attack on her husband on October 28th, saying Paul Pelosi is doing well, but he's in for a long recovery. She's also worried the attack will take a toll on their children and grandchildren. David DePop is charged with attempted murder for the attack. He has pleaded not guilty. National Guard troops are activated in 12 states to provide cyber election support. The Defense Department says more than 90 guardsmen are on duty to focus on issues, including network assistance and protection and risk mitigation. Among the states receiving this help, Arizona, Colorado, Illinois, Louisiana, North Carolina, and West Virginia. The National Guard says it provided cyber support to eight states during the election primaries in May and June of this year. Still to come on this special edition of 4 News Now, for the first time in 16 years, we'll have a new sheriff in Spokane County. We're breaking down what's at stake for the people in this race after the break. Download the 4 News Now app today. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. I have a little bit of savings, but I depend on Social Security and Medicare. I'm alarmed to read that Tiffany Smiley supports a plan that could virtually, in all respects, end Social Security and Medicare in five years. Then she'd make Congress fight about whether to create those programs all over again. It's a nightmare. Tiffany Smiley, I earned my Social Security and Medicare. I will not let you take them away. Women voters responsible for the content of this advertising. Hi, I'm Ron. 
And I'm Shelly. At Rosenberger Construction, we build some of the most beautiful custom homes in North Idaho. Like our spectacular spec home, now for sale at the club at Rock Creek, Coeur d'Alene's newest private golf course filled with stunning natural beauty. Our custom homes are furnished and designed with you in mind. For our clients looking for that unique, one-of-a-kind piece of furniture, we always recommend Consign Furniture in Liberty Lake. From great rooms to dining rooms to master suites, Consign Furniture is sure to turn any house into a home. Granite Concepts. We doubled our size. Doubled our weekly output. Created even higher fabrication quality. Shortened the time to completion. Granite Concepts. Beauty set in stone. Fancy Light, one of country music's hottest stars is coming. Yeah, we Fancy Light, Applebee's. Walker Hayes, Glad You're Here Tour. November 10th, Spokane Arena. I'm just trying to stay out of here. With special guest, Parmalee, Walker Hayes. Guys like me like girls. On sale now at the box office or online at SpokaneArena.com. His latest album, Country Stuff, available now. Don't miss Walker Hayes Live. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the limited time Hog Heaven Pizza for just $12.99 at papamurphys.com. Welcome back to a special edition of 4 News Now. Election Day is here and we're breaking down what's at stake for the people this midterm. For the first time in 16 years, we'll have a new sheriff in Spokane County. Ozzie Knezovich did not run for re-election. Two longtime deputies are on the ballot. Both worked in law enforcement for decades. Esther Bauer is live at the elections office with a closer look at the candidates and their campaigns. Esther. When it comes to this specific race, I want you to keep two words in mind, insider versus outsider. So both of these men have worked extensively with current Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich. Knezovich wants to see John Knowles win, while Wade Nelson wants to bring a new vision to the position. Both are Republican candidates who are committed to public safety. Nelson is a retired detective, while Knowles is the current undersheriff, who is endorsed by Sheriff Knezovich. They share similarities in terms of addressing violent crime, homelessness, and seeing more deputies in schools. When it comes to what they would bring to the office, there's a difference. Here's why Wade Nelson says he's a better choice. He's been the number two man for a long time in the decision-making process of our community. I feel like we need a new leader in there that's willing to um, get some fresh eyes on some of the problems, get some innovative new ideas, so that we can kind of get our department back on track. Here's why John Knowles says he's the better candidate. What my opponent fails to understand is the public adores Sheriff Knezovich largely because he is truthful, he's transparent. Even when he says things that people don't like, they understand that he is telling them the truth and he's telling it straight. I will say I am Ozzy 2.0 in the sense that everything Sheriff Knezovich does is for the public. I will be the same. I feel the same way. Now, I've been tracking money raised in this race, and that difference is growing. Knowles brought in over $80,000. Nelson is trailing, bringing in around $37,000. Now, no matter who wins tonight, a big change is on the way when it comes to law enforcement in Spokane County. For almost 20 years, we've had the same sheriff. Now, we're going to continue to track this race very closely for you, and we're going to have more reaction from both of these candidates later on tonight. Reporting live from the elections office, Esther Bauer, 4 News. Yeah. Esther, thank you. Well, it's pretty cold here in the inland northwest, freezing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say. have, including Esther, hats and mittens and everything. You have kind to of, have it. Any, anything you can do to stay warm out there. Meteorologist Matt Gray is here filling in for Chris Crocker tonight. So, Matt, we're going to have to keep those the whole week. Yes. Uh, boy, we, we switched to winter really, really quick. And it looks like we're going to be staying in that frame of mind for a long time time so you might as well yeah hang up the hats and the jackets where they usually go during winter time because we're going to need them for quite a while temperatures oh goodness poor winter of 18 degrees after getting pounded with snow as we started off the week and late in the weekend meanwhile 32 in spokane 30 in coeur d'alene we got into the mid 30s and we're starting to cool off 
And hey, LC Valley, tropical as usual in the 40s right now. It has been uh, blowing a little bit, and so that means it does feel like 9 degrees in OMAC, even though we're in the teens there. 24 in Spokane feels like, even though we're in the 30s, and feels like 18 in Coeur d'Alene. It's been a little blustery today around the Rafter Prairie, so it probably needs an extra layer as you are uh, getting about your evening activities on this election day. Temperatures in the 20s, but just remember with that wind, it is probably going to feel like the teens for most of the evening. So eventually those wind chills gonna drop into the single digits for tonight. A little bit of road refreezing. At least we're not gonna have snow for a little while, but this cold weather gonna be sticking around. I'll show you how cold we get tonight and how long we expect the chilly temperatures to last. Thank you, Matt. Another race we're watching closely is the 5th Congressional District seat. Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers is seeking a 10th term. Local attorney Natasha Hill is hoping to unseat her. McMorris Rogers beat Hill by more than 20 percentage points in the August primary. In our For the People coverage tonight, Vanessa Perez is live in studio with a look at this race. Well, this race will be likely dominated by Congresswoman McMorris Rogers. Congresswoman McMorris Rogers has run her re-election campaign around inflation, crime, and tackling the fentanyl problem. McMorris Rogers says she wants to rein in what she calls reckless spending by the government. She also she's also running on price transparency in health care. Here's what the congresswoman said in one of her ads about inflation. Kathy McMorris Rogers. Inflation is a hidden tax on families. President Biden doesn't know how to fix it. I have some ideas. Balance the budget. Stop paying people not to work. Unleash American energy to lower gas prices. Some endorsements for her campaign, the United States Chamber of Commerce, Washington Council of Police and Sheriffs, and the Spokane Police Guild. Democratic challenger Natasha Hill is new to the political world. She's a local a civil attorney who grew up in the Hilliard neighborhood. She says she's running to bring back rep representation to Eastern Washington. Up to bring change that we desperately need to this region. I think being willing to show up and listen to folks around our district, understand what the issues are, what the priorities are, um, and then my skill set. You know, I have 15 years as an attorney, being an advocate and representative for people from all different backgrounds. And Hill believes wealth inequality is a major issue in our country that needs to be addressed. The first thing she says she would tackle if elected is strengthening labor and unions. According to the Federal Election Commission, the Congresswoman has raised over six million and Hill has brought in over $341,000 this election. We'll be tracking this race all night with new reaction from the candidates on Nightside. Live in studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. If you're voting by mail this election, your ballot must be in the ballot box by 8 p.m. Spokane County has 25 secure ballot drop box locations at local libraries, town halls, and other sites. You can find this interactive map with all the ballot box locations across eastern Washington. You can find that at kxly.com. If you waited until the last day to vote, there's no shame in that. Yeah, raising my hand on that one. Both of us. In fact, voter service centers will be open until 8 p.m. in Spokane County to help you out before you want to turn your ballot in. Here's 4 News Now's Destiny Richards with what you can expect. In Washington, a procrastinator's vote is still a vote as long as it's on Election Day. Until 8 p.m. tonight, you can come to the Spokane County Elections Office or the Center Place Event Center in Spokane Valley for all of your voting needs. For example, you can register to vote or get your voting information updated here. And this is your last chance to do it in person since you can no longer do it online. The Spokane County Elections Office has been busy since 7 this morning. A lot of people came in to register to vote while others were getting some ballot questions answered. If you forget your security envelope when you're voting, is it a good thing to open that up and, and put it in or should you just get a new ballot here? No, we will count your ballot if you forget to put the security envelope in. What we care about is the ballot and the signed declaration. And if you accidentally rip your ballot envelope. Get a new ballot um, or you can just tape your ballot and we will count it. It'll go through the scanner um, taped that way. So we have procedures to handle that and it will count. Once you're registered to vote and you filled out your ballot, you can turn it in at a ballot drop box location or right here. At the Spokane County Elections Office, I'm Destiny Richards for News Now. Well, 
a lot of people need to take a deep breath tonight <laughs> as you're heading out to the polls. Just be mindful of how this election may impact your mental health. Politics can be a stress and a worry, but there are ways to overcome those feelings. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither tells us how to ease election anxiety. Differing beliefs, long lines at the polls, concerns over outcomes. Election stress, like other stressors, have significant negative physical and emotional consequences. Cleveland Clinic psychologist Susan Alber says some signs of stress include trouble sleeping, loss of appetite, upset stomach, sweating, and excessive worry. All of these things indicate that your emotional system may be on overdrive. To overcome those feelings, Albert says avoid catastrophizing when your mind jumps to the worst case scenario for your side. Political ads are the epitome of this. It convinces us that if we vote for candidate X, disaster will happen. This seeps into our subconscious and replays over and over again. So stay in the present. Focus on routine, healthy eating and sleeping. Albert says that can help our bodies be ready for the next day, no matter what happens at the polls. And be mindful of when, where and with whom you have political conversations. Those conflicts, arguments, disagreements, that can make your stress response skyrocket. On the other hand, those open, fruitful discussions can make us feel really soothed and validated. If things get heated, Albert says step away. If conflict is about to erupt, it is okay to state your feeling and create a boundary. Say, that's a really important thought, but this is not the time or place to talk about it. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And if you're finding yourself stressing over differing opinions posted on social media or while watching political ads, health experts say to take a break and go off the grid for a while. Still to come on 4 News Now. Storm surge on top of a full moon, on top of high tides. Florida again bracing for major weather. Tropical Storm Nicole is expected to intensify into a Category 1 hurricane. Washington State football is one win away from bowl eligibility. We hear from the team about the pressure to win this weekend. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. It's time to say yes to your health care story. The Washington Health Plan Finder helps you find new health plan options like Cascade Care. These plans cover primary care visits, mental health services, and generic drugs all before meeting a deductible. Start your next chapter off right by enrolling in your 2023 health plan at wahealthplanfinder.org. Don't wait until it's too late. Enroll now. The Christmas holiday season is upon us, and The Plant Farm is ready to put your home decorations on display. The Plant Farm Poinsettia is ready to bring home, making your lights twinkle brighter and decorations dazzle. The Plant Farm Poinsettia is the coziness that brings families together and the symbol of hope and giving for the holidays. The annual Plant Farm Poinsettia tours are November 11, 12, 18, and 19. Book your spot at plant-farm.com today. I seem to be having a problem with my heat. It seems to be making this <laughs> sound. Oh, no worries. We can certainly take care of that for you. At Mainstream Heating and Cooling, we speak your language. It is election day on 4 News Now. Join us for team coverage throughout the day. We will have special for the people online content at kxly.com, plus local updates during ABC News midterm coverage. And join us tomorrow for reaction and results on Good Morning Northwest. Turn up the heat. The Commodores live. A musical experience you won't forget. November 10th at Coeur d'Alene Casino. Get tickets now at cdacasino.com. 70 million albums sold. Seven number one hits. The Grammy Award winning Commodores. In 1992, we sent Patty Murray to the Senate to fight for us. But after nearly 30 years in D.C., she's changed. Murray has taken almost $2 million from lobbyists, and she voted for a massive tax cut for millionaires. Patty Murray's looking out for the millionaires and special interests, not us. 
It's time for a change. That's why I'm voting for Tiffany Smiley. She's a political outsider who will always put Washington families first. Evergreen Principles Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Oh yeah, beautiful sunset right now over Spokane, or at least a, a post-sunset dusk. You can see a little bit of clouds out there on the horizon. That's a, from a storm system that's bringing snow to places that are not the inland northwest. So don't worry, nothing to worry about there. We're just going to be talking about cold weather, and it's going to be sticking around for a while. Now, we do warm up by the time we get to this weekend, but... Here's our average low at this point in the year, which is hovering right around freezing. And so we're going to warm up to the 20s instead of the teens. We're going to stay there at least into this time next week. So even though we're bottoming out with temperatures the next three days, it's not exactly going to be toasty warm <laughs> once we get past that either. This is going to be the coldest period, at least in the near term. Right now, already getting close to freezing. And we are at freezing in Coeur d'Alene. Hayden's at 30. Deer Park's at 33, down to th freezing as well. And Spokane International in the West Plains uh, going to be quite chilly tonight and going to have take the brunt of wind chill as well. Road temperatures also dropping below freezing. This is not a big deal where all the main roads have been treated already as we've gone through the last couple of days. But certainly those side streets where we had a lot of melting today, they'll probably be a little bit slick tonight. And we're going to see this cycle pretty much each and every day throughout the week. So still got to be in winter driving mode. You don't want to have that little skid pulling up to the house on the side road. As for tonight, definite bundle up weather. 14 in Spokane, 16 in Gore Lane, 13, Colville and Bonners Ferry, 28, much warmer in Lewiston, Moses Lake. 23 and that's not even factoring in the wind which will feel like single digits at times across much of the region. Here's a little planner for tomorrow and yeah 14 degrees at 6 a.m. feeling like 10 in Spokane and well, quickly we'll get out of kind of the wind chill zone here but you definitely want an extra layer if you're up and out the door early by the time we get to say 9 10 o'clock it won't be so bad and sunshine lots of sunshine that's going to feel great it certainly did today with uh, helping them melt a little bit of that snow around the region as well. Our high is 32 for Spokane, 34 in Coeur d'Alene, only 40 in Lewiston. We were up around 46, 47 today, so it is going to be a little bit cooler in the afternoons as we settle in with this cool air that's been trying to push its way across the mountains to us, and it's going to get reinforced by that storm that I mentioned that's bringing snow to other places. Might see a couple of flurries on the Camas Prairie. Otherwise, things are going to be pretty quiet around here. That's Montana's problem as we head through the back end of the week. High pressure settles in. Going to keep an eye on Friday night, early Saturday morning. Might get a couple of flurries from this system, but really all this is going to do is help reinforce the chilly air. And so we're got, going to be close to normal, which, by the way, is mid-40s for highs anytime soon. Get up to mid-30s and we kind of stay there through the weekend and into next week. So we're in winter mode and we're going to stay there. I don't know how long we're going to stay there, but we're going to stay there for a while. So uh, this, is, this is life now, I guess. Thanks, Matt. We'll make sure you're receiving updates on the freezing temps and other weather alerts by downloading the 4 News Now weather app and turning on push notifications. Weather alerts are sent straight to your phone. Just search KXOY in the App Store. A rare late season storm, the kind not seen in decades, is on the verge of hitting Florida, where many are still struggling to recover from Hurricane Ian. Right now, Tropical Storm Nicole is forecast to strengthen before making landfall along Florida's east coast late Wednesday into Thursday. Mike Valerio has the latest. Florida is bracing for a destructive deja vu. Tropical Storm Nicole is expected to intensify into a Category 1 hurricane, a mere six weeks after deadly Hurricane Ian hit Central Florida. Thousands who survived Ian are once again being urged to stock up on supplies and get ready to hunker down. Today is the day to get ready. Make sure you have your preparedness kit, your disaster supplies ready, food and water. Make sure your gas tank is full. Make sure you have medicine and prescriptions, cash on hand. Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency in 34 counties, all potentially in the path of Nicole. Emergency officials are warning of heavy winds and rain, rip currents, beach erosion, possible flooding, and storm surges. Storm surge on top of a full moon, on top of high tides, uh, storm surge amount of two to four feet, and it could be five feet in certain locations. 
Power companies are also preparing, removing or cutting tree limbs already damaged by Ian. Officials reportedly say the branches often are the biggest source of outages. Nicole is arriving in the final weeks of the hurricane season. If the system develops into a Category 1 storm, it could be the first November hurricane to hit the U.S. in 37 years. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. None of us in the Inland Northwest are big jackpot winners today. I can say that with certainty because the winning ticket was sold at a gas station in Los Angeles. With the jackpot at nearly two and a half billion dollars, the owner of Joe's Service Center actually gets a cut of the winnings for selling that winning ticket. He and his sons are getting a million dollars and he says he worked hard to build that business over the last two decades. I come 19, 1980 with $14,000 with and two kids and one with a wife. As a family business, all my kids, they help me. Very soon, maybe I will be retired. Good for them. Well, coming up tonight on ABC, election coverage continues with an ABC News midterm election special, Your Voice, Your Vote. Then tune in on Nightside tonight for our local and statewide race results. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Celebrate 25 years of magical memories at Coeur d'Alene's Holiday Light Show. Make your holiday bright with a stay at your favorite hotel on the lake. During Kerner Furniture's holiday season sale, we have the perfect recipe to make your season special. First, add a dash of cozy sofa for nights curled up watching a movie. Then, add a seven-piece dining set for extra room for friends. And finally, add a luxurious bedroom set for extra sweet dreams. During Kerner Furniture's holiday season sale, we have all the ingredients you need to make your home holiday ready. With great prices and selection, you can't go wrong with Kerner Furniture during our holiday season sale. Nice store, low prices. Change is just a part of life. As humans, we're wired to handle life's changes, big and small. COVID-19 is one of those changes, and it's sticking around for a while whether we like it or not. Each new way requires us to adapt, to adjust, but together, we will. COVID keeps changing, but so can we. Visit TakeCareWa.org to learn how. The Big 99.9 Nine Coyote Country's Christmas Cash Giveaway. Just listen at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, 2, and 4 p.m. We'll give away $500 Christmas Cash every Friday afternoon. The Big 99.9 Nine Coyote Country. The 4 News Now Extreme Team back in action. And just before Veterans Day, we've got one at the Vet Center we're going to do geared towards Vietnam vets. It's going to be amazing. You can watch it this week on 4 News Now. The Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. Ford News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Washington State football is one win away from bowl eligibility. Four News Now Sports Director Julian Minnesone joins us from Pullman to tell us if the team is feeling the pressure ahead of Saturday's big matchup against Arizona State. When it comes to qualifying for a bowl game, the Washington State players say they don't really address it. But when I asked them what it would mean to potentially clinch a spot for a bowl game at home this weekend, they couldn't help but crack a smile. It'd be amazing, you know, there's nothing better to get a win in, in Martin Stadium uh, in front of the Cougs. The Cougars have made a bowl game in six of the past seven seasons. If Wazoo wants to do it again, it'll have to get by Arizona State and its star running back, Xavier Valade. They have a really good running back and they, they have really good wide receivers as well. Um, 
you know, we're going to have to stop the run, and we're also going to have to be able to uh, play well in the back end and stop the pass. The Cougars are feeling pretty good about themselves after the 52-14 to win over Stanford last week. The Cougs ended their losing streak, and scoring 52 points on anybody does a lot for your confidence. We're always saying 1-0, 1-0. and We'll actually 1-0. and Just one more win, we'll make it to the bowl game. So we all want to play more. We all want to uh, keep this team together for as long as we can. Kickoff against Arizona State is set for 12:30 on Saturday right here at Martin Stadium. Reporting in Pullman, Julian Minnesone for News Now Sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. Hi, I'm Kadena Roland, a Kaiser Permanente Medicare specialist here in Washington. My mission is to make sure you get high quality, affordable Medicare health coverage. That's why Kaiser Permanente Medicare health plans have zero monthly premium, zero annual deductible, preventive dental, plus a vision and hearing allowance. And that's why with Kaiser Permanente, you also get the convenience of hospital care, medical services, and prescription drug coverage all in one plan. Plus, you can choose from a large network of doctors and specialists, including Kaiser Permanente. I'm also proud to tell you that here in Washington, Kaiser Permanente's Medicare health plans have been highly rated for 14 years in a row. Call 1-877-425-0721 or go to kp.org slash Medicare Spokane to request your free Kaiser Permanente Medicare Information Kit. Listen up, everything we've worked for has led to this moment. Training is over. It's time to be efficient, like the Kubota Grand L Series. It is time to grind, like the Kubota LX Series, which is packed with extra. It's time to be tough, like the rugged, BX Series, so let's get out there and plow, fight, and win! I have a little bit of savings, but I depend on Social Security and Medicare. I'm alarmed to read that Tiffany Smiley supports a plan that could virtually, in all respects, end Social Security and Medicare in five years. Then she'd make Congress fight about whether to create those programs all over again. It's a nightmare. Tiffany Smiley, I earned my Social Security and Medicare. I will not let you take them away. Women voters responsible for the content of this advertising. What is a jewelry design center? It's a diamond superstore. A center for engagement rings, wedding bands, and anniversary rings. A showroom with unique creations as well as award-winning designers. A fun, comfortable, no-pressure place where you are free to make big, small, or even no decisions at all. We are not your average jewelry store. We are Jewelry Design Center, and we want to be your jeweler for life. Well, chilly winter weather is here to stay in early November. So how about that for a flip after a record warm October? Temperatures only in the 30s for the next seven days. We have teens for the next three nights and then gradually warming up to warming up to the low 20s. So uh, yeah, just kind of waiting for maybe a taste of fall. We may get one more this month and then well, actually winter will show up as we head into December. So I've got my big gloves out. I get that from the car yesterday and all the hats and everything else. So here we are guys. Here we are and here, <laughs> here we, we are. <laughs> and here we'll stay. Thanks Matt. We're making it easy to find and follow election results. Just tune in tonight on Nightside and we'll bring you the election results straight to you as they come in. Or if you have a phone, open up the camera on it, point it at the screen right now and capture that QR code on the right hand side. It'll take you right to our homepage for all of your election results as they come in. Some races are coming in just after eight. Others, especially in Idaho, could take a little longer though, but this QR code will take you right to those results. You can also find them on the homepage of KXLY.com. Com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later tonight. We also have some digital broadcasts, so stay tuned to KXLY Plus and KXLY.com. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.